Hello, dear AI enthusiasts. Today we're diving into one of the most exciting AI releases of recent times, the Quen3 family of large language models from Alibaba. These eagerly anticipated models promise to sustainably change the landscape of open source AI. So let's dive straight into the details without further ado. The Quen3 family comes with an impressive portfolio of eight different models optimized for various use cases. Among them are two mixture of experts, MOE for short models. These are special AI architectures where not all parameters are active simultaneously, but the system only activates certain experts depending on the task, which is significantly more efficient, and six dense models, where all parameters are always active. The MOE models are Quen 3-235B-A 22B, the flagship with 235 billion total parameters, of which 22 billion are active, and 3-30B-A 3B, a smaller MOE model with 30 billion total parameters, and 3 billion active parameters. The dense models include six models. They're called Quen 32B, 314B, 38B, 34B, 31.7B, and the last one is Quen 3.06B. What's particularly impressive is that all these models have been released under the Apache 2.0 license, meaning they're freely usable for both research and commercial purposes, so without license fees or complicated legal restrictions. What really sets Quen 3 apart from other models is its innovative hybrid thinking concept. The models support two different modes. In thinking mode, the model takes time to reason step by step before delivering a final answer, similar to how we humans think through a complex problem step by step while writing down our thoughts. This is ideal for complex problems that require deeper reflection. In non-thinking mode, the model delivers quick, almost immediate answers that are suitable for simpler questions where speed is more important than depth, comparable to our intuitive quick thinking. Have you already had experiences with different thinking modes in AI systems? Feel free to write it in the comments. The graphs shown in the documentation impressively illustrate how performance increases with increasing thinking budget. For the AIME24 benchmark, for instance, these are challenging mathematical problems the pass rate rises from about 40% in non-thinking mode to over 85% with a thinking budget of 32k tokens. We see similar improvements in Live Code Bench and GPQA Diamond. The benchmark results of the Quen3 models are extremely impressive. The flagship model Quen 3-235B-A 22B achieves competitive results compared to other top models like DeepSeek R1, OpenAI's O1, O3 Mini, Grok3, and Gemini 2.5 Pro. In Arena Hard, it reaches 95.6 points. In Amy 24, it achieved 85.7, and in Live Code Bench, 70.7. Particularly noteworthy is its performance in Code Forces with an ELO rating of 2056, which even surpasses the performance of DeepSeek R1. What's even more astonishing, the smaller MOE model Quen 330BA3B outperforms the QWQ32B, although it uses only about one-tenth of the active parameters. This impressively demonstrates the efficiency of the mixture of experts architecture. Another plus point of the Quen 3 models is their comprehensive multilingual support. They support an impressive 119 languages and dialects, including Indo-European languages like German, English, French, Sino-Tibetan languages like Chinese and Burmese, Afro-Asiatic languages like Arabic and Hebrew, Austronesian languages like Indonesian and Malay, Dravidian languages like Tamil and Telugu, and many more. This extensive multilingual capability opens up new possibilities for international applications and allows users worldwide to benefit from the power of these models. Which languages would you like to test with Quen3? The Quen3 models were optimized for coding and agent-based capabilities. They now also support multi-chunk prompting, MCP for short, which means they can divide long queries into multiple parts and process them. Imagine this like reading a long book where you don't read all pages at once, but chapter by chapter, remembering the important information along the way. This makes the models particularly useful for complex tasks that require multiple processing steps. In the demonstration videos, we see how the model is able to call various tools or functions during the thinking process and then continue thinking based on the results, similar to when we use a calculator when solving a problem and then continue working with the result. We had previously only seen this capability in models like O3, where the model can sequentially use tools within a chain of thought. How have the developers managed to achieve such impressive performances in relatively small models? The key lies in their training, methodology. For pre-training, Quen3 used a significantly expanded dataset compared to Quen2.5. 
While 2.5 was trained on 18 trillion tokens, tokens are basically the individual word building blocks that AI models work with. It uses almost double, about 36 trillion tokens covering 119 languages and dialects. The team collected data not only from the web, but also from PDF-like documents. Using Quen 2.5 VL for text extraction and Quen 2.5 for quality improvement. Particularly clever. To increase the amount of mathematical and code data, the team used Quen 2.5 Math and 2.5 Coda to generate synthetic data including textbooks, question answer pairs, and code snippets. They basically used their previous AI models to create training data for the new model. The pre training consisted of three stages training on over 30 trillion tokens with a context length of 4K, improving the data set by increasing the proportion of knowledge intensive data and extending the context length to 32K with high quality long context data. To develop the hybrid model that enables both step-by-step -step thinking and quick answers, the team implemented a four-stage training pipeline. Long chain of thought, CoT for short, cold start with fine-tuning the models with diverse long CoT data. Think of CoT as a kind of written reflection, where the model writes down its train of thought step-by-step, -step, reasoning based reinforcement learning. Here, the model is trained through rewards to develop better thinking processes, similar to how we humans learn through positive feedback. Thinking mode fusion with integration of non-thinking capabilities into the thinking model and general RL with application of RL to more than 20 general domain tasks. This complex training methodology explains how the models are able to switch between deep reflection and quick answers, a capability that was previously rarely found in open source models. In practical tests, the Quen 3 models show varying results. The smallest model, Quen 3-0.6b, surprises with its ability to generate functioning Python code and create simple HTML websites, an impressive achievement for a model of this size. However, for more complex tasks, such as navigation using a metro map or generating a road rash game in 3.js, there is still room for improvement. Mathematical calculations, including relativistic time dilation and force calculations, are performed correctly. Interestingly, the non thinking mode seems sufficient for many practical applications, while the thinking mode offers advantages in more complex tasks, especially in mathematical calculations and diagnostics. What applications would you like to try with Quen3? Would you prefer to use the fast non-thinking mode or the thorough thinking mode? Development with Quen3 is pleasantly straightforward. The models are available on Hugging Face, ModelScope, and Kaggle. For deployment, the developers recommend frameworks like SGLang and VL. LM. These are special software tools that help run large language models quickly and efficiently, while tools like Olama, LM Studio, MLX, and Llama.cpp are recommended for local use. That is, if you want to run the models on your own computer. Particularly interesting is the soft switching mechanism that allows users to dynamically control the model's thinking mode. By adding think and no think to user prompts or system messages, the thinking mode can be toggled from request to request similar to a switch with which you can alternate between in-depth and quick answers. The Quen3 family sets a new standard for open source language models and increases the pressure on competitors like DeepSeek and Llama. With their innovative hybrid thinking architecture, impressive benchmark results, and comprehensive multilingual support, these models offer a promising alternative to proprietary solutions. Particularly noteworthy is the efficiency of the mixture of experts architecture which makes it possible to achieve competitive results with only a fraction of the active parameters. This could pave the way for more resource-efficient AI applications. One thing is certain, however, the open source AI community has received a powerful new tool with Quen3. Do you already have experience with the predecessor models of Quen or with other open source models like Llama? Did you like this video? Then leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you activate the bell, you'll even be notified when we upload a new video. Hope to see you next time. Until then. Stay real.